Well, hey, it's been a while since we've gone to see a phone in person, and what better way to ring in the summer than to come to a rooftop in New York City could be a nicer day, but I'm not complaining, to try out the new Motorola G Stylus 5G. And I know what you're thinking. It's a real mouthful of a name, and that's true, but it does kind of indicate that you are getting a lot, especially for the price. This is a $399 phone that will go on pre-order June 9th and on sale officially on June 14th. And there's quite a bit of stuff packed into this guy, so let's take a closer look. I think fundamentally we're seeing Motorola play to its strengths here. They have branched out into foldables. They're now doing flagships again with devices like the Motorola Edge and Edge Plus. But this is, again, a cheap and cheerful device powered in this case by a Snapdragon 485G. That base level $400 phone comes with six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, but you can actually augment that with a micro SD card up to one terabyte. That expandable storage will come in especially handy if you're trying to make the most out of this phone's quad camera setup. It is headlined by a 48 megapixel sensor around back, which in typical Motorola fashion does benefit from pixel bidding. So you will be shooting 12 megapixel stills by default. We are not working with the best of conditions today, shall we say. So the photos we've taken have been generally respectable, but we can't really pass any judgment until we really take this thing out into the world when it's nice looking out and try and get some great looking shots out of it. Looking at the rest of the cameras, we've got an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera that captures a 118 degree field of view, which Motorola says is pretty much on par with what you're able to perceive as a human. I will be frank, we have not had a whole lot of luck using that ultra wide camera because some of the pre-production units we've tried just the software is not done, like it's not Motorola's fault, but we haven't really been able to get a good sense of how that works yet. We have gotten a little more mileage out of the two megapixel macro camera. And again, I know what you're thinking. Two megapixels is generally not fantastic, but when you're shooting very, very close, as we did with some flowers and a basketball over here, you do still get a really palpable sense of the texture, of the minute details that are happening on these objects. So I don't think the two megapixel ceiling in this case is a deal breaker, but something for us to look into further once we start testing this unit for a review. There's also a two megapixel depth sensor around the back, which is helpful for kind of giving you the right bokeh for your portrait shots. But this might be a matter of philosophy. I don't really count a depth sensor as a proper camera. And I sort of get annoyed when companies like Motorola in this case, count that as a camera. I think as a consumer, you see quad cameras written down. And you're like, oh, this is great. But you're actually only getting three that you can use really definitively. The Motorola G Stylus 5G also has a 6.8 inch full HD plus display. And I gotta say, this has been maybe the biggest question mark of all of the features we've tried so far. As you can see, it's not a great day. It's not terribly sunny. It's not too, too bright. But even with the maximum brightness just cranked on this display, it is very difficult to see, not just for me, but for our producer, Brian, who's been trying desperately to shoot and get good shots of this phone for the video you're watching. So hopefully this gets ironed out, but it's tough to say exactly if this is the experience that people will be getting when they buy this phone in June. Now, as the name sort of suggests, there are two kind of focus areas for this phone, one of which is 5G. It supports 5G with Verizon, with AT&T, with a plethora of other carrier partners, which is nice because Motorola in the past, for example, has taken a break from working with AT&T. So as far as we understand it, you'll be able to walk into basically any carrier store and get a 5G phone for under $500, which is legitimately quite nice. It's not crazy fast millimeter wave. That's still super hard to find and kind of finicky even when you do find it, but sub six is better than nothing generally. The other big deal, of course, is the stylus, and Motorola says this is actually, indeed, a really big deal for them. The 2020 Motorola G stylus was their best-selling G of that series, and it's kind of not hard to see why. The phone itself, despite being really big, seems to have enough power to run really smoothly. We haven't had any issues with performance. The one question mark I think for some people will be whether or not the screen is too big. It is a 20.5 by nine display. So still pretty cinematic and generally taller and narrower than most displays, but this is a lot of phone. If nothing else though, it just gives you a lot of room to play with the stylus. If you're a note taker, if you're an artist, if you're just someone who likes to doodle on top of photos you happen to take, which is a thing this phone does really well, you might get some mileage out of this thing. Let's be clear though, this is not an active stylus. It actually just uses a metal mesh on the end of the tip of the stylus to actually interact with the display. So it works, it's certainly not bad. If you've ever used an LG stylo, which RIP LG, you kind of know what to expect here. It's perfectly functional, but I wouldn't go crazy with this thing. It's not gonna be a note quality experience, nor is Motorola claiming that it is meant to be one. 
Now, like I said, we have not had as much time to test this as we would like, but that is honestly how it goes sometimes. We're looking at a pretty reasonably priced phone with some decently competitive specs. I don't know that it's gonna change anyone's world, but if you're on a tight budget or if you're just looking for what appears to be a rock solid, lower mid range phone with a stylus, it's just a fun little bonus. You could probably do a lot worse. If you have thoughts about the Motorola G Stylus 5G, how we approach this hands on, or just how Motorola is doing it all, leave it down in the comments below. We'd love to see it. I'm gonna go inside because it's starting to rain.